This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at functional groups. Let's start with the definition of a functional group. A functional group is a group of atoms within a molecule that are responsible for the characteristic chemical reactions of the molecule. Compounds that have the same functional group can be divided into classes. Here we have a 5 carbon alcohol, which is pentan 1 ol. The class is the alcohols and the functional group is the OH or the hydroxyl group. Next, we look at all the classes and functional groups that you need to know for standard level chemistry. So the first example is the alkanes, which have carbon to carbon single bonds. An example is ethane. Next, we have the alkenes, which have carbon to carbon double bonds. An example is propene. Next, we have the alkynes, which have a carbon to carbon triple bond. An example is ethane. Next, we have the alcohols. The functional group is called the hydroxyl group. An example is methanol. The carboxylic acids have a carboxyl group. An example is propanoic acid. The aldehydes and the ketones both have a carbon double bonded to an oxygen, which is a carbonyl group. In the aldehydes, the carbonyl group is bonded to one other alkyl group. In the ketones, it's bonded to two alkyl groups. An example of an aldehyde is ethanol. An example of a ketone is butanone. Next, we have the esters. This is the ester functional group. An example is ethyl ethanoate. Next, we have the ethers. This is the ether functional group. An example is methoxymethane. Next, we have the nitriles. The nitriles have a carbon to nitrogen triple bond. An example is butane nitrile. And finally, we have the halogenoalkanes. The functional group is halogeno. An example is chloroethane. The next example are the arenes, which have the phenol functional group. An example is phenol. Moving on to the amines, this is the amine functional group. An example is ethan amine. And our last example are the amides. This is the carboxamide functional group. An example is propan amide. So that's all from this video. All my videos can be found at my website, which is www.msjchem.com.